Hey guys, it's Chris and T-Dunn. Today we have Alfred here. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you, thank you. This is his beautiful 2011 Grabber Blue GT500. We're gonna be putting some Steeda parts on it today. Oh yeah, um, I um, came down to have a, um, a Steeda pulley pulled on it, um, um, the Steeda tune, and also the Ford Racing um, um, 65 millimeter throttle body foot. Nice, nice. So this uh, GT500 comes stock with 550 horsepower. So we're definitely looking to up that power number a little bit today. We're gonna to do an installation show you uh you know a little montage of jamie installing the parts in this build then on the dyno and ultimately alfred's reaction to uh how that extra power gets down to the ground so without further ado let's go ahead and dive in Here we are, just got the Steeda parts put on this beautiful 2011 GT500. Um, what did you add again? Um, did the um, Steeda pulley, the Steeda tune, and um, went ahead and added the um, Ford Racing um, um, throttle body for it. Nice, nice. So, so I'm really excited. I believe this car makes about 550 to the crank from the factory. Mm -hmm. Subtract 15% from that, you're looking at, what, mid to high 400s? Mm -hmm. Um, so that, uh, what, 534 is what it made? Oh, yeah. Absolutely mm -hmm. awesome. Um, that's a good you know, 100 horsepower gain. And oh, yeah. These superchargers love to be uh, pulled down, that's mm -hmm. for sure. So um, I guess we'll take it for a spin and see what you think. That'll work. It was pretty consistent with what y'all advertised. Awesome. So. Awesome. Yeah, we, uh, we have an in-house tuner that we work with um, to kind of dial these tunes out there. They make good power, but not max power mm -hmm. because we want them to be safe. Yeah. Um, you got enough room? All right, let's see what we got. Noticeable difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the second second gear pulling this thing is awesome. Getting on the interstate in third. Oh, for sure. Beautiful. Oh, let's go ahead and make a left up here. Or up. Okay. Yeah, this car is very fun. <laughs> Let's see if it was my old Fox body, it would be losing traction. <laughs> uh -huh, well, that's even charger one. It's more noticeable. Since I guess the throttle body. Between the Just, throttle yeah. body and the mm -hmm. fact those vortices yeah. are spinning quicker mm -hmm. now. 
just head up to the stop sign and make a left. Okay. But uh, I'll be honest on that that one two shift, I felt a little bit of wheel hop. Mm -hmm. So uh, you know what's next, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. We need to go. Um, I want to do. I do want to do. Um, different. Uh, Intercooler. Right. Um, intercooler, I'd like to do um, maybe a little bit different exhaust. Um, still not 100% if I want to do um, anything really a lot louder because I don't want it to be annoying on the highway. I love the sound so. of these. I had a 2011 GT myself mm -hmm. and um, with the GT500 axleback. Okay. Um, same exact axleback you have on this thing. And it, it just, it's got that deep signature, like throaty Mustang sound. And it burbles when you downshift it. It burbles okay. a little bit. Which is <laughs> nice. So, um, I was thinking about y'all's um, the Stita, Stita um, one you have for this. Um, I might go with the I might go with the Flowmaster um, since I've always had Flowmaster. It's a signature with the Fox mm -hmm. bodies. I know you're you're a Fox. How many Fox bodies do you have? I've had four. Jeez. Yeah. I two 88s and an 87 and a 90. Now, do you miss them after being in this thing? Um, I still miss the box body because <laughs> I, I mean, I, but you know, I would love to have all. <laughs> For um, sure. Yeah, I'm a, I would love to have an old SVO. Nice four cylinder. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm impressed with four cylinder turbos. I've had had a few myself. So it sounds like you're a fan of them bringing back the four cylinder for the Mustang in 2015. Oh yeah, Man, I have no problem with it. Um, especially with the kind of horsepower that dang, um, the RS Focus made. Oh my gosh, yeah. yeah. And you had, you said you traded in a Focus ST for this, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah um, um, it was a um, pretty fun little car. It was pretty much stock other than the tent window and a little bit stereo, at, um, but it was, it was very fun. This is a good, great daily driver. So you had four Fox bodies. Mm -hmm. You had a Focus ST. Mm -hmm. Did you have any other Fords? I, I did have a um, I did have an SVT Focus, which was my nice. daily driver when I owned my '90. Um, a buddy of mine had it and um, had like 30,000 miles when I got it. Um, but I kept it from 2004 to um, 2016. Nice. Um, oh, my bad. About two, 2019. Police officer, and I've driven it. Um, had a charger, police officer charger, and a, and, a, and, a, and a Tahoe, and I was not a fan of either. Just the reliability issues. Well, thank you for your service. But uh, we have actually worked with uh, a couple of the local police departments mm -hmm. around here. Um, we recently put uh, Steeda Springs and a rear sway bar on uh, a 2020 Explorer the okay. Interceptor. Mm -hmm. um, and man, we actually pulled out around here. He went over the bridge at about 100 down here. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and we took that turn. And I mean, and as, you know, one thing's doing it in a car, but an SUV. Oh, yeah. yeah it's, but that thing squatted down real nice. Yeah, I have a, um, I ha do have a 2020 Explorer. Um, it's a, um, it's the, it's the four cylinder, 300 horse. Um, nice. Moves up pretty good with that 10 speed transmission. For sure. Um, for, for a SUV. No doubt. Yeah, I've had, um, we've got a, um, a little, um, escape, a little turbo escape. It's only got it rated at a 1.6 liter, but it don't, feels like a lot more. So, um, <laughs> Turbo's up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, Sounds like you're a forced that. induction family yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, the, um, big improvements on the, um, on the, on the turbos and the superchargers. No doubt. You get the efficiency when you want it and, uh, the power when you need it to. Oh, yeah. Um, so, outside of the parts you added today mm -hmm. on this car, is there anything else done? Um, no, no, no. This is this this car was bone stock um, when when I got it. Oh wow! Um, it didn't have you know, just it was stock. It had twenty four thousand miles on it when I got it. Um, um, 
the guy that owned it uh, um, had it pretty much up until last year, and then another guy bought it. And believe it or not, it happened to be my uh, brother-in-law's one of his good friends had it. Um, that he, you know he performed some work for, and um, he had to get rid of it because he's got his his girlfriend pregnant. Oh wow! But I uh, didn't have any issues with it. Um, but I was a real real fan of it, the low mileage and and how well it'd been taken care of. Um, Just begging for more power. Oh yeah. <laughs> So, uh, what what are your plans after this? I mean, um, I don't want to go obnoxious with it. I want it because um, I made a mistake of that on my ninety. Um, I made it unenjoyable to drive on right. a regular basis. I mean, it was fun to play around with, but it was not a fun to drive back and forth to work every day. I'm, I'm going to use this car. Um, I, I drive my cars. Um, my my I've got an SV, a ninety four SVT Lightning. Um, I drive it. It's got about one hundred eighty eight thousand miles on it, and it drives like new. upgrade was something I looked at like the, the throttle body upgrade was something I was reading about last night and I was hoping y'all had one in stock which y'all did so I lucked up on that it's amazing what uh you know just all the pieces of the puzzle and you slowly change each one mm -hmm. it really helps out I've had a set of injectors make 100 horsepower Jeez. on my 90 from the 19s to 42 pounders. Well, <laughs> <laughs> made a big difference. That'd do it. All right, so you want to keep this thing a little bit more daily driver-ish, mm -hmm. but a fun daily driver. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so we made, you know, made comment on the suspension earlier. Yeah. Um, doesn't need anything super crazy. We're not solid bushings or anything like mm -hmm. that, but you know, you got another 100 horsepower now. You're going to need to be able to get that down to the ground. Oh, yeah. Brakes. Um, yep. I wouldn't mind sliding the vented rotors. Um, I know a couple people with this body style GT500. It's a super easy, quick swap to the 1314 mm -hmm. calipers. Okay. Um, with that six piston, you know, you're really going to feel, feel those things clamp oh, yeah. down. You make a left up here. Okay. And, you know, choosing the right pad combo, um, hmm. you know, pad you rotor me? combo. So I've been, I've been trying to educate myself as much as I can on that front. Mm -hmm. um, we did a really awesome brake test with uh, Hawk Performance last year um, with our Q350 EcoBoost, where we went out and tested um, all of their Mustang street pads as well as their track pads. Uh -huh. um, and in doing that, I was able to like get all kinds of information, which was awesome. Um, now, you have a daily driver. Mm -hmm. You probably don't want to worry about dust, yep. things like that, um, or noise. So you want something that's streetable, but a moderate upgrade over stock. Mm -hmm. uh, my suggestion would be the Hawk Performance HPS 5.0 pads. Mm -hmm. um, they're a slight upgrade over stock, but no dust, no noise. Yeah, these, um, these are horrible with dust. Yeah. It's a compromise. You get mm -hmm. performance breaks, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, but Hawk did a really good job of kind of getting the best of all worlds. Um, and then you uh, factor in the uh, performance ceramics. That's another step up. Mm -hmm. um, you got the dust again. But yeah. man, that initial bite, it just, that's what I have on my cars. I'll, I'll, I'll clean the dust all day long. I don't care. It's just the brake feel. Yeah. And initial bite is just awesome. All right. So all in all, first impressions, what do you think? That's, that's awesome. I love I love the throttle response. I love the it's it, it picks up a lot faster down low. Um, it definitely pulls a lot harder down low than it did before. Um, you know, all, well, it pulls all the way through. You know I mean? <laughs> but the feel down low is just you know just a daily driver. Yeah. Okay. 
just the daily aspect, you know, just, just giving it, giving it a little throttle, it actually pulls a lot harder. Well, that's awesome. Um, I'm really happy you're happy, okay. and I'm excited to uh, keep slowly working with you on this thing and, um, you know, make this the ultimate daily driver for oh, you. thank you. Well, Alfred, thank you so much for coming out. Really appreciate it. Really happy with the results of this. I mean, it made, what, 534 to the wheels? Yes. Man. That's a good, probably 100 horsepower over stock, at mm -hmm. least to the wheels. I know these cars, 550 to the crank, looking at about a 15% uh, power loss between you know the drivetrain to the wheels. So all in all, that's a great power number. Now, what's next? Oh, suspension. Um, maybe some, some stuff to cool it down a little bit better um, nice. and brakes. Um, not a whole lot. I don't want to do a whole lot to it. I want to keep it um, a daily driver. The ultimate daily driver, mm -hmm. right? So. <laughs> Um, you add more horsepower, got to make sure you break it down, get some Hawk Performance brake pads on there. And uh, you said he already likes the exhaust. I'm personally, I'm a big fan of the stock exhaust in these cars. And, um, you know, some suspension, especially in the rear, to make sure we get it down to the ground with that extra power. So, anyways, that's about all we have today. So go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button, comment below. Let us know what you think Alfred should add to his GT500 next. And don't forget the most important thing. Speed matters.